All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris, and today I'm back with another video here. A three-game win streak for your Philadelphia Flyers and a 3-2 win uh, over the Seattle Kraken. A really good game from the Flyers, uh, much better than the last one against Winnipeg Jets. Um, I think there's a lot to, to break down here um, from... You know, the Flyers getting a power play goal, a shorthanded goal, an even strength goal. Um, you know, it, it was a back and forth game. They finally get back into the over 30 shots column. And, um, you know, they go one for four on the power play. They had a couple of power plays later in the game that they could have, you know, used to their advantage. Uh, and they score first. You know, they get one right back. Um, and for Seattle, it tied it. It was a good game. I mean, I think there was a lot of things to like in this one. Um, I think the first thing for me was the first period. Um, I'll get to the lines and everything in a second. But I really like the Flyers' first period. I mean, they forechecked. They got in on pucks. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I noticed was very similar to what they did against the Jets. They just were able to kind of carry that into the second. And, um, you know, it, it, it was little things that where they were able to create chances off of their speed and forcing turnovers. And for Seattle, who hadn't played since January 30th, it was their first game out of the All-Star break. That was a 2 nothing loss against the Sharks. They've been up and down, obviously, all season. They haven't really been scoring at the rate that they were last year. Around this time last season and throughout January, Seattle was one of the best teams in the league, and they had really good underlying numbers in just about every category. And I think I haven't looked at it in, in a while, but it's you know it seems like it's the total opposite for them. And they haven't really again found the scoring. I haven't really had the um, you know you know I guess um, uh, numbers from the guys in their bottom six stuff like that. And, and it, it just it seems like an off year from them, and it, it kind of feels like it's a good time for the Flyers to get them. Um, you know, they played two games, they had two wins, um, you know, and two games that were very similar. This one was a little bit different. The Flyers, you know, they kind of got back to their game that they were playing before the five game losing streak going into the all star break. And they do that with, with uh, 12 and six, a regular lineup, uh, Tibbet, Couturier, Konechny, Farabee, Frost, Atkinson, Forrester, Paling, and Cates, uh, Deloria with Lawton and Hathaway. Defense, York with Drysdale. I thought that was a really good pairing tonight. Uh, Sandheim with Ristolainen and then Sealer with Walker. Cal Peterson, he gets his first start since November 11th. It was a 4-2 win in L.A. Peterson was was good. I mean, I thought there were times where he didn't necessarily... Um, I, I think there's times with Peterson where it looks a little shaky. It uh, looks like it's a little more threatening than it should be. Um, but man, I mean, he battles. I mean, it's it's one. I mean, you have to give the guy credit. I mean, he when 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 he has been called upon in the past two games, he's been called upon. Uh, you know, he obviously he did come in in the Bruins game, but you know, it was already four nothing, then five nothing at that point. So, you know, that one, it, there's not much to really write about in that one. But you know, this one, I thought he made some really good saves. I mean, he when it was two one, you know, I mean, I look. The second goal was the second goal. I thought the first one he could have had. Um, you know, the 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 more I went back and watched it, and, and it just didn't necessarily look like the most um, dangerous goal. Uh, to be honest, it was reviewed, and I did like that the Flyers did review that. Um, but let's get into this one. So first period, like I mentioned, I thought the Flyers were buzzing. They had a chance in the slot from Farabee. Again, they forced turnovers. That's when the Flyers are at their best is when they use their speed. They create turnovers, and they, they find the guys in, in the slot who can score them. Um, Lawton had a shot early that deflected out of play, and then he gets a breakaway, and then he scores a goal. Uh, Flyers get a power play. It was uh, Hathaway drawing a cross check in front. Um, I've really liked Hathaway this year. He's had some really good games, I think, put together in a stretch where he is – Physical wins pucks in, on the forecheck and really fly in the zone. He sticks up for teammates. He doesn't really take a lot of penalties. Um, you know, he's he's physical when he needs to be. Fight, you know, fights. He hasn't really had a ton, um, but you know, he is much more engaged. And 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 and, and I think over Delorier, and I think he's. Um, I, I th he's definitely a much better player, but also at the same time, he's much more valuable and I think useful because a guy like him, not only can, you know, obviously he's more of a, I don't want to say goon, that's probably not the right word, but he's more of a grinder type of guy and, and you know, he creates a ton just off of hard work and the Flyers have created a ton off of hard work this year. I mean, it's, I, I've, I've said, you know, two things th this season and, and one of them is the fact that they've always had a response. I've said that just about every video. Um, there's there's always something. I mean, I, I I'll, I'll talk about it even tonight. And the the second thing is is that how much they create off of hard work. I mean, they, they everything is is forecheck and this one is drawn because they get a play at the net. 
you know, they they get the power play. It was a really good setup. Um, Frost over to Lawton, back to York, back to Lawton. A beautiful shot. I mean, Lawton was obviously pumped. He needed that one, to be honest, I think, for Lawton's game. Um, and, and he was obviously fired up to get that one. So there's a weak call here. It was a power play for the Kraken. Uh, Flyers had a good kill, aggressive. They won a couple battles, a couple clears from Gaturier and Lawton. They had good energy. I mean, it felt, I, I tweeted this during the game. The first period, there was an energy in that building that I have never felt before as a Flyers fan. Like, I, I know some people have said it before, and, and even Paul Jackson, who I went to the game with tonight, he's obviously co-founder of Mayor Media with myself, you know, he he had mentioned that the, the game against the Ed Snyder game, the Flames game, the, the 3-2 win against Calgary, that was just like that. I wasn't at that game, but this one felt like a playoff game. I mean, it's it's Seattle, it's sold out, it's a Saturday night, like Flyers are on a two-game win streak coming out of the break. Like, we got there at 6 o'clock, and the parking lot was, you know, maybe... I don't know, maybe like 50-60% full. I mean, and that that's a lot for an hour before a game against a Western Conference opponent that you only play twice. I know Seattle's more of a recent team and everything, and it is a Saturday night too, but I mean, you have to give the Flyers credit. They're doing this right, and they're winning, and they're getting the fans back. I mean, Flyers hockey is back in the right way. I mean, I didn't know how long it would take, but from being at a game tonight, Again, on this, yes, it's Saturday night and it's in Philly, but you're you know you're against a team you only play twice a year, and games in in February I didn't really think were going to be competitive, and the fact that they are and the fact that the Flyers, you know, as of right now as I'm recording this, um, another win, another you know again three game win streak, they now sit third uh, still in the Metropolitan Division with 62 points. I mean they're starting to really separate themselves from some teams. They were beforehand, and now they're, they're starting to do it more. I mean, Pittsburgh, um, again, some of these teams have games in hand. The Penguins have four games in hand on the Flyers. But Jersey, with, with three games left, they have 54 points. Islanders, with 52 uh, games played, 56 points. Five is a uh, six-point advantage on them. Only three points back in Carolina. The Canes do have two games in hand. Um, and the Rangers have played one last game and have seven more points. But, I mean, the Flyers, are, are they're in a dogfight, and they're doing themselves a favor because they're winning the games that they should. And tonight was another an, another one of those games. Um, so 1-1, Tatar would get it. Uh, it was a three-on-two rush. You could hear the, the Kraken bench screaming 3-3 three, three, because they had three-on-two, and it was the first actual, like, legit rush they had had the, whole, the entire period. And, of course, they score on it. It was a, a, a like, a hair offside. Like, it, it, it I... I <laughs> I'm fine with them um, challenging that because, A, they've been right on it and every other time, and, B, it's one of those ones where it's like, give it a shot. I mean, you're late in the first period. Yeah, you know, you are going on a power play, but you're, or you are going on a penalty, but you're, you're giving them a power play, but your penalty, your penalty kill's been so good all year that you know you can kind of afford that, and they do, and the Flyers, you know, the, the uh, PK was good tonight as well. Killed all three of Seattle's power plays. Um, but th- this is what I love. So they get the power play. Delay a game. I'm like, oh, my God, great. So there's, you know, the, it, the Flyers had a good, you know, good momentum shift. Um, you know, a, well, I should say a couple good momentum shifts. Then they get the goal, and then they give up one, and then they go right on the power play. I'm like, great. This is a great way to end this period. And then they get it right back. Paling, 2-1. Um, he's been so good since the extension. I think he's had an underlying you know, or underlying, an underrated season. Um, you know, he's uh, he's been just been one of those guys. I feel like he's he's been a glue guy. Like, yeah, he's had some run some you know rough games. I thought the game against Florida wasn't great for him. Um, but man, I mean, he 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 works again. He works hard. I mean, he competes, and that's the biggest thing with this team is there's so many guys you can put in that category. And again, they have a response. I mean, I, I've said it all year. I mean, they. They get it right back, shorthanded. They now lead the league in uh, shorthanded goals. If that changes tonight in the NHL, I don't know if anyone else is is up there. But the Flyers, they literally put it on the on the, the board maybe twenty seconds um, before this, and you know the Flyers were tied with eleven, and then they get the twelve. So good period. We go into the second. The second period was good too. I mean. It was a good closeout game and a good closeout third, too, but the second period was good. I mean, I thought the Flyers did the same same little bit of things. Um, you know, they get a power play, Frost draws a hook. I wish he would have shot that one. It was a you know pretty good uh, setup. He didn't get the shot off, but they, they uh, draws a penalty. 
They moved the puck well. They won the draw. They had a ton of creativity. I thought Lawton looked really good on it tonight. I'm just assuming that the the goal gave him a little bit of a boost there. Cracking at the post off a point shot. I have no idea how that A ended up going anywhere near the net and B didn't go in. It, it was just a, a crazy play. And then the uh, Kraken do get a power play. It was a slash on Walker. Good kill. Peterson made some really good saves. This is one of the moments of this game is around eight minutes left or so. Maybe like eight, seven, maybe six-ish. Where Peterson had to stay strong and he did. Because the Kraken had some chances. I mean, it wasn't like they, um, you know, the, the Flyers... They didn't really, like, give them anything too crazy. But, you know, Seattle, for them, you know, playing their, their first game in, in, what, 12 days or so? I mean, it, it was definitely a good a good way for the Flyers to kind of go into it. Um, if you're looking at the uh, shots by period, seven in the uh, second period for Seattle. And as we go into the third they get one. McCann scores. That's one. They had one for the rest of the period after that. Had two shots. And the Flyers ended that period with 14. They get 38 for the game. Seattle only with 19. And, and Peterson makes 17. You know, saves off 19 shots. But when called upon, he was good. And the Flyers defended it well in the third. I mean, they get the 2-2 goal here from McCann. Really tough bounce. And nothing you can do about that. But again, the response. They get a 2-on-1 chance from Faraby. A couple good shifts in the offensive zone. One face-off, shot from Sam Hine, deflected in from Gutierrez in front. 3-2, that ended up being the game-winning goal. And uh, Torts had mentioned that uh, he kind of gave it to, to Gutierrez a little bit on the tying goal. And that was that was Kutz's uh, fuck you back, <laughs> back, to, uh, back to Torts, which I love. Because that's, the, that's what this team needs. Like, they have a coach who can do that. And again, to Torts' credit, I know I've been hard on him at times, but... I mean, I, I can't really complain with how they're playing. I mean, they're they're winning games. I do think some guys um, are getting used a little bit in different ways, but I, I don't want to nitpick too much because they are winning the the bottom line. And um, you know, when you get another, they get they get two power plays. Dry, I thought Drysdale was really really good tonight. I thought he moved the puck well. I thought he had a really good stick throughout the entire game. I know that's, that's that sounds like such a stupid way to describe a player, but. The, the little details, like there was a specific play he made in the third period when it was tied. And I believe it was Schwartz going to the puck in the corner. And there was a little, he tried to cut back and throw because, you know, Schwartz is left handed. And Drysdale put the stick, instead of like going down or trying to reach at him, he put the stick right in between his feet. And it was just such a high IQ play because that's the play they try to make is try to throw it to the feet because it's, it's open and you don't try to block that. And he, it was just like it, it seems. It just seems like one of those things where like he does that all the time. And I do think there are going to be some some games where Drysdale is going to look like he isn't necessarily used to the man to man yet. But the little details are there, and it's probably. I think it could be a little bit similar to Forrester in a way where it's like the little details are there, but you still want to see the offense and stuff. And um, you know, he he. I think he's been good with the Flyers. Uh, I think he's had some really good moments and some good games. Um, you know, he was minus one tonight. But again, I thought he had a good game overall, and really, I thought moved the puck well. I thought the pairing was good, him with York. It, it took them a little bit, I think, adjusting together in the Florida game. But since then, I think these past couple of games, they, they've been good together, and I know they were 11-7 you know, against Winnipeg, so a little bit different. But I think it was a really good game from that pair, and again, really good shutdown period uh, from the Flyers in the third, and they get a 3-2 win against the Kraken. So, yeah, on to uh, Arizona. I mean, you got two left. And then we go outdoors against the uh, pesky Devils, so should be interesting. Um, I'm, I'm really I'm liking how they're playing going into the outdoor game because I think that can kind of give them a little bit of a boost. Um, Arizona Monday, Toronto Thursday, Devils outdoors on Saturday. Thanks everybody again for all support as always. Make sure to check out Mayor Media and all the things that we do. Uh, all of our writers, Paul, um, who I I can't tell you how much he absolutely like kills it on everything because he does the clips on twitter the edits the website i mean he's one of the biggest reasons where you know where we're at right now and um you know it, it, it's been really really fun building this with with you know him and obviously you know everybody else and it's been a ton of fun so thanks everybody again for all the support as always and uh yeah my name is chris and i'll talk to you all again soon